Hi, welcome, Simon here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a complete teardown on an HP laptop. So here you can get to see on how to upgrade the RAM, the hard drive, changing out the battery, including the LCD screen, as well as if you're looking for a keyboard replacement. This, this video is going to walk you through from start to finish. All right, so let's jump right into it. I'll give you the model number here. Take a look at it. It's going to be HP model 15 DB. 0083NR The hidden screw underneath the rubber stopper so this plastic rubber has to be removed in order to expose the screws top and bottom Once you have removed both of them go ahead and get a screwdriver this is a regular Phillips remove all the screws There are four screws on the top. There's one screw right here that holding on the um, CD-ROM. There's one screw right in the middle, center. At the bottom of the computer all right once all the screws are removed now you can slide the optical drive to the left to remove the back cover I recommend to go starting from the top here the palm rest this in between there's a gap Stick it in, kind of crack it open. Okay, once the thing is open up, remove the back cover, then you can see the internal part of it. This is the uh, HT03XL that is the battery if you would be changing out the battery meaning that you remove the back cover and remove three screws and lift the battery straight up that's how you disconnect the battery or to replace the battery so if your battery is swollen this one is still in a good shape Everything is flat, but if your battery is swollen or feel like the trackpad is not clickable, more likely the battery is pushing from the inside out that is swollen. Alright, so I'll be saving the battery for a later on use. This is the hard drive. Lift it up and slide it to the left. If you want to upgrade to a solid state drive, you can do that. That's the RAM, that's the CPU. Let's go ahead and disconnect some of the cables here. So this is the wireless LAN card. That the, uh, the wireless LAN, you just remove the cable. Remove the screw and slide it to your left to remove that. That's for the wireless. Okay. This is the charging port. Slide it to the right. Remove that. Looks like the hinge, there are two screws holding down the hinge and the hinge is holding down the charging port. So slide it that way and the LCD cable, I just push it away from me. Looks like you cannot remove the DC jack until the motherboard is removed. So let's still continue removing stuff, flip open the clipper that is for the clicker flip open the clipper slide it down that is for the usb here on the left open up the clipper that is for the keyboard 
and this is for the hard drive okay that is the uh, speaker and this is the CPU fan connector just connect that remove the screw and the entire CPU fan can be removed this CPU fan needs to be changed out all rusted and corroded okay let's jump right into here I think we can start removing the motherboard there's one screw here holding down the motherboard and this one here on the top bottom right two of the screws And the entire motherboard would just come right off. More likely that is the model for the motherboard replacement. Okay, and here comes the DC jack. Alright, so let's remove the screw on the top right, top left corner. That is the hinge holding down the LCD. Okay. Now that the entire keyboard would just come right off. Now if you ask me, can this re keyboard be replaced even though if I have a missing key, can it be changed? Yes, it can be changed, but however, you have to change out the whole full assembly that includes the palm rest and the trackpad because the keyboard, the way they make it, it is not replaceable. The whole thing have to be replaced in one piece. Okay, that is the downside of it. And here comes the screen. So if you guys are wanting to change out the screen, that is the full assembly screen that includes the top cover. But then again, if you just wanted to change the LCD itself, and here's the process on how to do it. So, uh, be using a metal prying tool. I'm gonna go in between the bezel. At the bottom here, you might feel like a little bit harder to remove. It is because at the bottom they have this double-sided adhesive tape that is taping down the uh, the screen. So I'll be using this metal prying tool, kind of running across the bezel to cut open that adhesive tape. All right, once you have that thing cut, go ahead and remove entirely of the bezel, just like such. And to get to the screen, there are four screws holding it down. So you have two ways to do it. One is to remove, um, do, there are two ways to replace the screen. One is to remove entirely, including with the hinge and the top cover, or you can just do this way by removing the LCD on its own. Flip it towards you. And then slide the cable away and just change out this LCD screen. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. I hope this video is helpful. And if you do find it video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And again, um, if you want to show your gratitude, please um, click on YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to uh, share the gratitude to support my work my channel and appreciate the things that I do so anyway I um, wanted to break it down if you're looking hard drive upgrade is good changing out the battery changing out the LCD screen changing out the keyboard so those are the things that hopefully this video can uh, guide you and also changing out the DC jack I will list most of the stuff in the description below if you're interested go check out those things and, um, and that's pretty much it and 
install the bezel you just have to put it back but I'm not going to this is just a scrap computer taking it apart and hopefully um, share something with you guys thanks for watching until next time bye now